But you stole my tea. Yeah, I put it over here because you're fixing to drink beer. But it, it's a mouth cleanser. No, it's not. The water is. You want some water? No. <laughs> alright, alright, fine. I'm gonna finish. Together. Clearly we're scooching my boochin for... <laughs> Scooching your capuchin? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a monkey? <laughs> yeah. Welcome, you're watching Beer Fork. I'm Melanie, and today we have a beer for you from Troegs up in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, I decided to pick this particular beer up because I'd had another one of their beers earlier this year, um, one of their other IPAs that was quite good, and I figured I wanted to give another one of their beers a try. So this one is Blizzard of Hops. It is a winter IPA. Uh, let's see here. I like the fact that they've got a nice little bit of information on their label. Um, the ABV is 6.4, IBU 80. They tell you the hops are Centennial, Galaxy, Chinook, and El Dorado. And actually, if you go onto their website, they'll give you even more information. And I kind of love what they've done for each of their beers. It's a really nice layout on their website of everything that you're about to get in this bottle and not limited to what they just have um, on the label itself when you pick it up. And it says, we created this winter IPA to toast hop growers around the world for another successful harvest. This storm of hoppy citrus and pine notes is a bright reminder that the end of the hop cycle is only beginning. So I'm guessing that's a reference to the fact that we've had a lot of hoppy beers in the past couple of years. Not a problem for me. I love IPAs, but I do get that a lot of people are kind of like, hey, we want something else. Like IPAs have kind of completely overrun our stouts, our porters, our wheat beers, and we're missing out on a lot of pilsners and lagers. There's a lot of different types of beers that we really need to be exploring. And maybe a little less on the IPAs, because as much as I love them, I love variety too. Um, and then that's kind of it for the label. So we're going to get into it. All right, as expected, um, because I didn't read it, but it is on the bottle that it is this nice golden color. It is a little bit on the hazy side, but otherwise, you know, a little bit clear, a little bit ahead, very white, um, but nothing too thick and, you know, dissipating at a moderate pace. Let's find out what it smells like. Ooh, that is fun. Um, so it's this nice little bit of very citrusy hop, and if I recall correctly, a lot of that's coming from the Centennial. Um, I've gotten a little bit better personally about kind of picking out what hop is giving me what specific flavor, but it's always kind of hard because there's so many combinations and so many hops out there. But Centennial, for me personally, I think is inching up that list of things that I like to look for. Ah, oh, but that is nice. Definitely very citrusy and when i think citrus i'm thinking orange not orange peel but orange a little bit of hints of lemon and then you've got this nice like pine under note that you typically kick, typically get with your ipa so it just smells absolutely lovely let's try it Interesting. So the bitter in it, it's the first thing I even noticed, which is kind of a funny thing because you know your bitter taste buds are further back, but it's got kind of that rindy flavor, like instead of orange, you get more orange peel because it is bitter, but it's not a bad thing in this case. It's just really bitter. Um, I wrote, yeah, it had the IBUs on it, it was uh, 80. So 
not super high but not low either it's just kind of middle of the road but it's very much predominant with this one I don't know, I am, for whatever reason, really distracted by that particular flavor. Um, I think because I was expecting it to taste more like the way it smelled. Like, I'm definitely still getting that citrus, a little bit of lemon in there, but very intense with that bitter. It's just, it's, it's not super bitter, but it's just a strong flavor character. I like it. I think I'm going to warm up to it. And I think I would like it even better if I had a good pairing of food with it. I could see this going with a really nice fish or a salad, something kind of light, but something that would sort of pair off well with the flavors that are going on in this beer. On the whole, I like it. I'm not disappointed. I'm looking forward to trying another one. So again, that was Troeg's Blizzard of Hops, and you're watching Beer Fork, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Beer Fork. I'm Melanie. It's a new year and time to check out some good beer. If you like what you've seen, please check out that subscribe button to see more. If you've got something to say, like or comment at the bottom. And if you want to see more on other places, you can also follow us on Untapped, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to see more right now, we got a couple of videos right over there. Our most recent, along with a random episode just for you guys.